Hello friends, it's me Doom, and today we're going after the fish that is a lie. That is the butterfly peacock bass, which as it turns out is not a butterfly. Nor is it a peacock, nor is it a bass. It is actually a cichlid. And for those of you who have raised cichlids or had some as pets, you'll know that they're a complete and utter a-holes. Basically, they're incredibly aggressive, which can sometimes lead to cannibalism. Needless to say, and this is important for the fish, their diet is exclusively, pretty much exclusively, fish. So I'm going to break this down into three simple steps, just like always. We're going to be talking about location, we're going to be talking about gear, and then finally, we're going to be talking about the retrieve. So let's start with that location. Here we are in the Everglades, Florida Everglades area. There we are. And let's see, we're going to be casting out from the lily pad channel. This is my spot. It doesn't necessarily have to be your spot, but this is my spot. You can use it if you'd like. Now, being a hunting fish, they prefer to be in hunting-like areas. So you'll note here, there's a whole bunch of lily pads and whatnot, and this is relatively shallow water. They're just outside of that shallow water, right around here-ish, kind of, waiting for prey to poke its little head out so it can be nommed upon. So now that we've got a general area, let's go ahead and take a look at that gear. Now, I'm a little overpowered for this area with this gear, but this just happened to be what I had to ha happened to have on hand from a previous video. I have with me an Artix uh, 112, which is obviously way, way more powerful than you're going to need. In fact, I would say 8 pound test is what you should be looking for um, with your setup. I've got a uh, got a line and reel that will is also way too powerful but the important thing what we're looking at here what we're going for is we are using small minnows is that what we're using yes we're using small minnows and possibly shiners as well a number four aught hook and a boober and we're going to be casting out today at roughly 39 inches so about right here i don't want to convert that into metric but if this is a scale, it's right there. So now that we've covered the gear and the location, let's go ahead and give this a shot and we can cover the retrieve. Now, I may have mentioned this in other videos. I'm pretty sure I did. I do not necessarily like uh, float tackle. I'm still working on a way to get these guys with anything but, but um, let's see here. We're gonna cast out to the area that I told you about before, right about Nya. And now we wait. While we're waiting, one thing I did notice about these fish is they don't necessarily always stick to uh, peak hours. They can be caught most of the day. However, the higher the peak, the bigger the fish caught. It seems to be anyway. And just like that, I've got a bite already. That was excellent timing. I'm going to go ahead and pull this in with ease with my way overpowered gear. Come on, you. And voila! So an interesting little side note as I cast again. Um, butterfly peacock bass are of the South American cichlid variety versus the African cichlid variety. Um, I mean, obviously, it'd be kind of harder to get African fish in Florida than South American fish. How they got here, though, I mean, I, I don't know, I, but I want to venture, venture a guess. Uh, a long time ago, there was a guy named Frederick von Fishpunter who uh, went around uh, South America kicking fish, and apparently uh, at least two of them, a male and a female, got into Florida. That's, uh, that's my guess. And another bite. I'm catching these guys pretty regularly, which is nice. Oh, come on, you. There we go. As you can see, though, it's not necessarily a cost-effective fish. You got a, was it, $228 to a 3.345 pound. Eh, I prefer to go after fish which are, you know, at least even. If this fish were worth $334, that'd be, that'd be excellent. Now, keep in mind, I don't have premium. Now, if you do have premium, this might be a good fish to go after. You can catch them pretty regularly in the same spot over and over all day long uh, or any other similar spot. Now, 
If you guys found that this video was helpful in any way, uh, I'd, I'd really love for you guys to go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I've got a lot of other great tutorials on this game and many others on this channel. And, you know, we have a lot of fun here. So, yeah. Also, if you have a spot that you like better than this one, because I did put a little research into this, but not too terribly much, I'd love to see what other spots are, there are. If you want to comment down below, please be my guest. Fishing Planet is a community, and we kind of need to be there for each other because the game devs are in it for the money, obviously. So let's end this video with a little review, shall we? Let's go back here. We're going to be casting from the Lilypad channel. That's this uh, leftmost dock from right about Nya off to right about Nya. We are using a number 4-aught hook, small minnows, and at least an 8-pound test line. Our lure depth is roughly 39 inches. It's going to be right there. And for the retrieve, it's just a normal float tackle retrieve. That about wraps it up for the butterfly peacock bass, but questions still remain. Now that I'm back, what's the next fish that I'm going to be coming after? Are we going to get the moon again? When's my next live stream? You can find out the answers to those and more on the next episode of Fine Doom Gaming!